time tell people weep not too bitterly over the happy dead the dead has already dead and there is nothing we can do to bring back the dead we have to learn to console ourselves and you know those things but one thing i want to say to habiri family you know when i open back the coffin i will take the wreath to dress the dead and when we are about to close up to go to the graveyard, please do not allow your tears to fall on the dead. There is a consequence beyond the grave when your tears fall on the dead. And I tell some people they have a way, they like to kiss up dead and don't do that. A dead is a very unclean thing, eh? You see, when you're living is one, but when you die, even the agency will tell you that. Some people want to kiss dead, hug up dead, and all them kind of thing. You could touch your dead and all of that. But you see the kiss up thing and tears falling on the dead, you will die. And you will die faster than you think. That is a fact. So, well, most of you all must know me. I am... Teacher Mervyn Basilio, better known, I'm a patriarch, Lord Bishop, Bishop, Supplicant Bishop, Canon Reverend Leader, Teacher. I lives at Chotilal Drive, St. Helena. My church is situated on number 15, Hawkins Street, Tagore. What the name of my church? It's St. Francis Spiritual Baptist Divine Mystery Tabernacle. My worship is on Sunday from 1 to 5. However, we all would rise in the honor and glory of God and commence this service by singing our opening hymn, O God, our help in ages past and hope for years to come. O oh, oh God, And we all hope for years to come. The shelter from the stormy blast. And all eternal home. Under the shadows of thy throne. Though of your throne, Lord. Thy saints are well secure. Sufficient are the arms alone. I am the Lord. When all defense is shown, I 
a thousand ages in thy sight. It's like an evening gone. Short as the watch that ends the night. That ends the night. Before the rising sun. Time like a never rolling stream. They all thy sons away. A life forgotten as a dream. O oh God of our help in ages past. And we all hope for years to come. Still be our guide by trouble last. And all eternal home. Let us all repeat the Our Father prayer, Our Father who art in heaven. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed only the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed only the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed only the fruits of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, give us, preserve us from the fire of hell. O oh, Mary can see without sin. O oh, Mary can see without sin. O oh, Mary can see without sin. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus. Let the words of our mouth. May the Lord be with us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ graciously hear us. Jesus said, if I go not away, the comforter would not come unto you. But if I depart, I would send him unto you. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, 
yet he were dead. Yet shall he live, and whosoever believeth in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand upon the earth in the latter day. After my, my skin womb destroyed this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Whom shall I see for myself, and my eye shall behold for not another? Through my reign be consumed with me. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we carry nothing out, naked coming out of your mother's womb, and naked thither. The Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for a child came into the world with his hands wanting everything, and leaving the world with his hands open wanting nothing. Surely, for God have all things, come surely, and to him all things shall return. The blessing of God Almighty and his forgiveness for all our sins be upon us. Amen. Amen. the sun time and hour. You alone are the reader of heart. You alone are the searcher of mind. You know and see all things this morning. All things are in your hand, holy God. But oh, tender lamb, eh, hey, hey, darling and me bosom. We didn't come to pray for the dead at this time and hour. But we come, Lord, to give you thanks. We come, Lord, to give you praise. Remember those she left behind. Be thou the shield and hiding place. Be thou the prophet, priest, and king. May them be the help, the Lord, and all the end. My God and my Redeemer, yea. Look at our family circle, holy God. Bind them together another time. Teach them the fear of you this evening. But oh, ah, Rosalind, my name and number. I pray you grant our resting place. Oh, sweet beautiful land this morning. 
Hello, across the seas today, where man chants a happy prayer for all those that do your will, Jesus, my God and our Father, all those that came to pay the last respect, grant them all a suitable blessing. Some are sick and some are sad. Some has lost the love they had. Some never taught to love the well. But, oh God, remember them, remember me. Remember them, remember me. Remember them, remember me. In all my sorrow, conflict, world, good God, remember us. Jesus, the name that charms all fears today. Have mercy, dear Lord. The broken hearts, blessed God, I pray you amend the heart, dear Jesus. Keep them as the apple of thine eye, both now and forevermore. The Lord is my shepherd. Good morning to each and everyone. Today we are here to celebrate the life of Rosalind Bennett, also known as Rose, but to us it was simply Ma. Ma has been a dedicated mother to Gwendolyn and Joel, a wife to Claude Wallen, grandmother, sister, and friend to many. My grandmother was an amazing woman. She was kind, loving, selfless, and Lord knows she had patience. You might ask yourself, how do you know she was patient? My answer, she helped raise every one of us. She was unique, a unique human being. She knew no strangers and will bend over backward to help others. Again, you might ask me, how do I know this? She was a gem. Ma genuinely cared and gave a listening ear. Her advice is what shaped her family in the right direction. She was never the type to judge, whether good, bad, or in between. She was always there for you. She was, very, she was my role model. I have watched her. Feel like a, it feels like a lifetime. Her presence has never left us. Even unto this day, she is a pillar to our family. Ma loved hard, but most and foremost, she loved God. She had the ability to bring peace and comfort to others. She had unconditional love for her family, not just her children or grandchildren, but to her partner, sibling, friends, and neighbors. She embodied grace and a nurturing spirit above all. Ma played a pivotal part of each and every one of us lives because of her sacrifice and compassion. Her legacy of strength and res resilience will live on in the hearts of those she touched. I want to leave you this evening with a thought, God promised to save us from the power of death. And I believe that we will see Ma again at the second coming of our Lord and Savior. I just want to read a verse from First, from first Thessalonians 4, 13 to 16. And it, it reads... But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, 
even at others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto you, the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise again. So if we, if we have hope today, let us not cry that she has passed. You know, let us have faith in God that she will rise with him on that day. And I thank you for listening today. Tribute. Pleasant morning. That pleasant good morning again, teacher and everyone. You know, as we gather here on behalf of my great aunt, you know, it's a shocking thing to the family. But we still give God the praise and the thanks, you know, that we are still alive in the land that we live in, you know, that we can able to set our path. That when we reach in this stage, you know, something that we, we're not accustomed to, we will not get accustomed to death. But I remember my aunt, my great aunt in Danbury Hill. When she said, okay, man, you know, she had an ice cream pail. I can remember that. And we was young and, and small, and, you know, she would call everyone at the children, you know, and she would make ice cream, and she said, take turns in, 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 in spinning the pail, you know, for the ice cream that you're able to share with the young ones in, on, on Danbury Hill, you know. And I remember she that, you know, every time I came by my mother, she would always sit and always see her on the outside, sitting and watching. But you know, today, that's in another place, beyond our control, beyond man control, but you know, God is in control. And you know, I just remember my aunt, for a loving person, for a kind person, and a caring person. I could also remember on the day of my wedding, that she came in the night, when she came with a half a slip here, and she come and she said, I bring this, you know, this is for you. You know, and, and you know, she, you know, she, it is a touching thing that, you know, beyond man control, and it's really beyond man control. And I ask, you know, that God give us his strength that we endure and overcome. Because my grandmother I passed last year, my cousin passed last, last two months, and now it's the aunt. You know, and God is able to see us through this one also. But, you know, while we are alive, I will say, let us Keep on in the night pray and ask God to strengthen our heart and give us the courage that we're able to go through this one also. In the name but in Jesus Almighty. Amen.
a pleasant good morning to my spiritual father. A pleasant good morning to all gathered here today on behalf of the bereaved family and a special good morning to the bereaved family. The first reading will be taken from Psalm 39, from the very first verse. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrows were stirred. My heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burning. Then spake I with my tongue, Lord, make me to know my end and the measures of my days that it is, that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as an hand bridle, and my age is nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity sealer. Surely every man walketh in the vain shoe. Surely they are discreted in vain. He heapeth up riches, and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth before thou did it. it. Remove thy stroke away from, my, from me, and I consume by the blow of thy hand. When thou wilt will, with rebuke, thus correct man for iniquity, thou make it his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity sealer. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace and my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner as all my fathers will. O spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Here ended the 30th Psalm containing 13 verses. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be. And I was also asked to read Psalm 90. I, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even though had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and said, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight, and but as a yesterday when it is past and is watched in the night. Thou cry it, carry it them away as with the flood. They are as a sleep in the morning. They are like grass when grow it up. In the morning it flourishes and grow it up, and in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thy anger and by the rot and by and we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, O secret, our secret sins in the light of the continuance. For all, for all our days are passed away in the rut. We spread our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three scores and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is the strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we will fly away. Who knoweth the power of thy anger even according to thy fear? So it is, the, is thy rot. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long and let it be repent, be concerning thy servant. O satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days within thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy works appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto the children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the works of our hands upon, upon us. Ye, the works of our hands establish thou it. Here ended the 90th Psalm containing 17 verses. Glory be to the Father and 
Well, without an on our pamphlet, we love to hear my heard the voice of Jesus say. I hear the voice. Come on to me and rest. Lay down my very one, lay down. As an individual, I know Rosalind, yes, a few years well. Through her, I came to Sandy Grand to live. 
Through her, I met a man they called Mr. Dashim. And through sewing Susu with her, I don't know who was the Susu holder, but she didn't collect the money. And if she tell you you're getting your money Monday, trust me, by five, half past five in the morning, she reached at your door. She said, Leeds, Leeds, and I always had bad dogs. So when I peep out, she said, come quick, come quick, come quick, I'm busy, I'm busy. I said, where are you going? I run down the step and she have a little bag. She said, it's fish in the bag. Check the head of the fish. You'll get this season otherwise it's bad. Anything gone wrong, check me. And believe you me, she was one. If the money is 20,000, you're getting 20,000. Not a cent less. And if you and she good, she bring in a little bag. Some piece of bread, some piece of bake, some kind of thing. And give you and she going. And I started to live grandly. She was my only friend in Grandy. The only person I used to speak to. Because I didn't used to talk to people at all. Because I don't mix, I don't meddle, I don't want to see, I don't want to hear. So I used to pass like I've gone donkey blind. But when I reached by the playground, most of the times I see her walking down the road. She was working. I used to stop out. I'm used to black, real black. And I could say about her, she was never on to people. You see, people's business was the last thing in Shibo. And we remained friends that when I left Sandy Grandy and I went to live down the road, she have a gentleman with a white car. She said, come down the road. Paka, 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 paka. She said, Lisa, I come to look for you. I said, girl, you didn't bunk the church. She said, no, I come to see her. We talk. Wherever we talk, it remained there. And we had a bond. And because she's just, well, we are, we are around the same age bracket. And I think I'm older than her. So whenever my birthday coming, if I see her for the balance of the year, I'm sure to see her the day of my birthday. If I'm living in the devil's wood yard, Rosalind coming. And this year, I sure had a birthday this year. I didn't see her. So I made it a point in duty. I went, come up Damry Hill to visit somebody, and I went in by her. Well, always, she always in the shed sitting down. I said, what happened to you? You had nothing to do? That man in turn, you're right and turn. You're like, I just only talk rude talk, eh? Root talk and money, I just talk. Well, she bust out a laugh, boy. She said, oh God, you won't change. I said, no, what are you doing? She said, what's some coffee? I said, we are asking so as if you're playing cricket. And she said, down, I said, down, and we had a hearty conversation. After that, when I was leaving, I told her, I said, girl, it's the first time me and you ever chat and thing, and I just get a heaviness in my heart. She said, lead something must be going to happen. In. Because she, I think it's a nephew. Some one of them get killed. And she mentioned it to me. So I said, probably, must be that talk where you tell me, because she was very close to this nephew. I said, must be that I'm a little old heart heavy. And I left. Only to know a few, not in a month after, I get a phone call. Leeds, Mother Rosalind, sick. I dropped everything. Every I total thing I was doing, I dropped. I said, if it's one o'clock tonight, I reach in there. And when I reach and I saw her, I asked myself a question, you know. What is man that thou art so mindful of him and the son of man visited him? And I talked with her. I prayed with her. But in my heart, the sadness was there. I knew she was going to meet her maker. I think it's her granddaughter. 
we stand up outside and well, she sat down like she had the whole world on her shoulder. And you know, we talk a bit. And when I came out in the living room, I felt I was like I was losing something. Because I don't get close to people. Because I can't take a hurt. If you hurt me, I'll kill you. So I prefer to. And when I left, I told the teacher that was with me, I said, listen to me. The gentleman, I think it's her son, a lot took us down. I said, Rose, do not have long with us. I said, because Rose Moon and all that with me, you know. I said, all her passes came back. I said, I could go before her. But I tell you it reach back. So, this is just so bright. He said, where's the past? I said, I can't remember. And I laugh. And then I get a phone call a few days, so must say a week or so after. They say, Rosie, take in again. And they're going in. Yourself. I said, well, this is it. I tell myself that was it. And it was so. I know she had a love, an unconditioned love for her family. Who liked her, liked her. Who didn't like her, didn't bother her. She had a love for her family. You see her daughter, her daughter, children, and some nephews and nieces. Let Rose say, you don't say. Let Rose beat up, you don't beat up. And I want to tell her daughter, you and you alone would know how you feel. You and you alone know the connection that you and your mother had. Because I know you and your mother was a little like bread and cheese, bread and butter, a little good. And few parents can say that about their children. Few. And her grandchildren. Well, didn't you say she like a rag dog? They and her was close. Her cousins, nephews, Rose was her favorite. And she had a laugh. When you hear she throw back, so and she laughed, boy, she'll wake up the city. The children in the area, people in the village, respected her to the max. So I want to tell her children, grandchildren, cousins, I felt Rose dead as if it was my mother. She was a friend to me. She wasn't a dreamer. But if she dreamed anything concerning me, if Rose had to come down, she went to New York, she made a dream in New York, didn't even know I was in New York. As she landed, she finds herself in Hogan Street. My mother was alive. She told me what she said. Mother Z, where leads? She said, in New York. She said, oh, God, I miss it. As I reached back in Trinidad before I had two days, she found me by the church. She said, Leeds, you're not dreaming so, 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 so. And if she tell you, run, run. She tell you, stand up, stand up. And we had that bond. So I said openly, the only thing I can do and this is something I always tell people. Make your calling straight with God. Know how stand your case between you and God. God is not coming for religion, you know. God coming for a people that sin set free. And if you die in Christ, you will rise in Christ. But if you die out of Christ, you have to wait for that trumpet to blow. No man could tell you when that trumpet went to blow. And within the time that she died, according to the astrologists, according to the Muslim faith and certain faith, she has gone free, you know. She died within the fasting period. She has gone free. And who God set free is free indeed. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, no grave can hold that body down. 
we have to understand, you know, she has gone to chapter 2. No one has never returned to tell us what chapter 2 entails. But we believe that is a better setting. But only when you get there. We may sit in different circles. And I tell you, time is too short. Where shall we spend our eternity? Time is too short. You see, holding emosity, holding malice, and I don't like you, and I do the teeth and tongue must meet because teeth and tongue is like bush and picker. It must meet. But at the end of the day, do not allow the sun to set on the road or rise on the road because tomorrow is not yours. Tomorrow was never promised to us. So you got to live every day as your last. Because you now see somebody here. And by the time you reach down the road, you hear the person dead. Where you die, judgment meets you. Where the tree fall is dead lies. So I want to tell the family, her friends, Weep not too bitterly over that happy dead. She knew, she knew she was going home, you know. My last visit to her, she knew that. And the, the granddaughter, I think, but in she face, she opened her eyes. She said, open your eye. You take a little sip of water now. She take a little taste. She said, she said, hey, you think about her in you? And I know the woman, you know. That was a woman. If she don't want to drink water, you could bring a barrel of water that she wanted to know. And could I find a fault? Was Rose? You make a cup of tea. She ain't taste the tea yet. She said, that tea missing milk. She ain't taste the pot yet. And she tell you, that pot lacking something. Check your pot. She was a crack shot on that way. And if Rose eat from you, you're lucky. And if she drink from you, you're lucky. Because she had a funny stomach. Anything that in right, as it reached her mouth, her mouth was a spring. And she get up and dash her bottom. And she bust out that back and her laugh. Rose gone, you know. To village and people that she lived among. Nobody. You know, this is something I just love, you know. You know, when you live in an area, we have ups and downs, eh? You and neighbors are cross street, you and somebody, because you're children, you know. But at the end of the day, nobody don't say nothing bad about that woman. Nobody. She, how many of us in our area, people could walk in and say, that's a good place to go in there. Some of them, when you hear their character, your shame and the serving God. Some go into church with a big Bible, but they're far from God. They sin heavier than the Bible. Some of them telling you, I am blessed and highly favored with God. Lie! Damn lie! They're thiefing, they're robbing, they're swindling, they're doing all kinds of things, they're making mischief. You have commerce agent, you have confusion, but too. Those are things we have to refrain from. The Bible said three scores and ten. Three quarter only and reaching three scores and ten. Or they're going to die before that. Because your sin, the wages of sin, is death. Look how our young people die in. Take a look. Look how some of the old people die in. Take a look. Walk in the cemetery. Watch at the different graves. Days and moments quickly fly in. We have to blend and living with the dead. Soon you and I will be lying there. And where Rose is there? She can't turn right. She can't turn left. She can't go north. She can't go south. She has to stay put. She has to spot a land. You know, you may have your place and the neighbor may intrude with her. Photo two. You making back and going to court for that. 
what you carry in when you're dead, one soul you're going back to God with. And a soul that is not lifted up unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. You have mangoes falling, dropping in. And if you see somebody picking one, you want to poison the tree and kill the tree. That is abomination in the sight of God. You, you, you have a friend or a sister, you see they're hungry and you get them a plate of food. And before the food reaches in the summer, 10 people don't know. That is a sin. Little sin, big sin, all is sin. So we have to understand that death is a transfiguration. She put in down mortal and she pick up immortality. Where shall we spend our eternity? You ain't better than me. You may have a better house than me. You might have more gold than me. You might have more money than me. But when you're dead, I never see no box casket pulling jewelry and money and whatever. You're going and you don't know who's going to reap it. So while I live in, I'm going to eat good. I'm going to drink good. I'm going to dress good. I will make a little bacchanal to keep my blood warm. And most and foremost, I want to now stand me and my God. I'm not serving God and looking bewildered. No. That's a sin. Um, let me put on this money here, yes? That if anything happens, them children have it. Uh-huh. I see people leave beautiful homes and before the body lower, when you go to that home and you see the condition of the home, you say, oh God, that person must be turning in the grave. So while I live in, let me cock up in my chair. Let me spend my money. Let me go places that I never went before. Let me go on a little holiday. Yes. You might not be a party person. You might not be a William. But keep yourself in an order. That even though now, it is always good to dead and leave than to dead and want. Eh? But when you leave, know who you're leaving it for. Yes. Powers in the hand of a fool is but a fool. Some of us have children and you're leaving your entire empire in the hand. And before you have a year, your empire crush. And because I'm a child. If your child could do for me, your child must inherit out of what I have. When I get in pain and think, oh God, the neighbor child run into my assistant. Why shouldn't you share in my wealth? My child in New York, once, maybe a year, when they're in difficulty, they go call you, hello, how are you going? So, 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 so. And as you call them, me have no money, no thing bad. They start to cry. You taking your pension or your little saving to mail it for them, that's what they call send the fool further. Plenty of us have children, they are parasite. And we are blinded to it. Eh? Because if people tell you about it, you're damn well vexed. You're vexed. But we have to learn to face reality. And a soul like that that is there, she did it. She did it. She wasn't a saint. If she tells herself she'll pass then, but are you? She'll change her out. She's one. Worship in my church. Yes. And who passed on? Who's still there? The younger set wouldn't know her. Nobody never, never say Mother Rose. How good it is a good name is better than sacrifice. You know how good it is, you in an assembly, in particular in the spiritual arena. You know, we have the seers, I did see, I did hear, I did know, and I was to do it. And she was in that arena for years, and nobody. And if you hear she in come to church, I could tell you where she went. 
And when she reach and thing and good, Rosa's get up easy, 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 and walk. She don't say a word. And she leave, and she'll never go back. She said, well, Leeds, I went in a taxi when you boy. <laughs> and she laughed out. Well, I just said, provoke her really to hear her laugh. So I want to tell her family, weep not too bitterly, according to the eulogy. Yes, you will feel pain. Because it's easy, easy to say, let go, you know. It's easy, easy to say, don't cry, you know. But when you get attached to something that you love, and you know it going and you wouldn't see it no more. You wouldn't hear it no more. It does hurt. It does hurt. And it is better you cry than you keep it in because you could fall down. Massive heart attack. Blood pressure could rise up. Pew. You drop down, bip, you're dead. So you, you know, you let it out your system and you ask and you can tell the dead. Grant me the courage to stand up, to face the battle, because the battle is the Lord. So to her daughter, I know how you will feel. I had a mother, and I lose my mother. And I know what it is like. You see, when you are attached to a mother, a true mother, not a common mother, a capital mother, you will feel that it is you and you alone in the field now. Because all the living close by. If you ball hard, she could hear you. And if she ball hard, you could hear her. It will have days that you will be in your house and you will sweat all God. You hear your mother call you. Because all your custom, then to her grandchildren and thing. You know, all the, all the passing. Healing, she she healing all year, all year, and she tight. But I know she and Miguel here did real tight. Real, real tight. You see this one? I know they did real tight. And as they pick up, they break up. As they pick up, they break up. But they was tight. Because you know why? She had plenty. I think she's one of the granddaughters. She had plenty as she grandmother was. So the grandmother said, you can't rule me. One time, back and I started. Granny, all right. She gone. And as she wheeled back, hey, girl, so, 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 so. That is how we have to live. Live every day at our best. Live every day as our last. And we that are here who have family, let us learn to face reality. Let us teach our children the fear of God. Let us teach our grandchildren the fear of God. Let me stop encouraging our children in wrongdoings because it have a consequence. There is too much a weeping, gnashing, bloodshed upon the face of the earth. Too much. So in your humble way, pray for you and ask God to stretch forth the hand. Let him intercede for some of us because some of us need prayer. We need prayer. When I was young, it had crime, but it was nothing like this. We could have walked the street any hour, any time, go anywhere, anyhow. Now, you can come out in your yard and sit down and take the breeze. You're building wall like Falcon Crest and the bandit coming over. You're burglar proof in the house and bandit coming through the roof. So we have nowhere to hide but in Abraham's bosom. And again, I will tell you all, God not coming for religion. Anywhere that you serve in God and you are comfortable, continue serving God. If you're praying under a fig tree and you're getting blessings, stay there. If you're going by the river and you're praying, stay there. Because God is no respecter of person. So I want to tell us here today, let us take Rosalind debt as an example to us. One day we too will be there. She makes she three scores <clears throat> and pelting going up to she 80s. I make my three scores and I pelting up to my 80s. And trust me, 
I tell God I want to make 99. My grandfather on the father's side make 95. My grandmother on my father's side, she make 88. My grandfather on my mother's side, he died young, 51 or somewhere there. My grandmother on my mother's side, she almost make 98 or 90 something so. My mother make 83. My father died young. But I passed my father age, man, I double up that. And trust me, I tell God I want to make 99. You know, I always have an excuse for God. It may sound as a joke. Eh? But um, when I had my grandchildren, I used to tell God, spare my life, let me see they get big. <laughs> they get big. My daughter come and start to make children. I said, Lord, oh God, let me see them get big now. Let me see nobody carry up them. I trade them with God. Great grands, I said, listen, Father God, I want to see they get a good education and thing, and then you can take me. And then I have certain children under the bloodstained banner of God. I ask them God to give me the courage to see them through. You see, you must have a reason to live. And if you're sick, find out where's your complaint. And when you know what is your complaint, you can work to suit. When you reach a certain age, you have to change your diet. You have to make a 360 turn. You're eating everything, you know. But you have to change your diet, make a 360 turn. You're going to live long. A apple a day keeps the doctor away. I know that rain was going to come. Uh, I know that rain would have come, trust me. So to the house, anyone desirous to give the family a few words before we come down, please do. Come and give the family a few words. You can give me a few words too. Because I just take words and when I reach home, what for me I keep and what not for me I just put it in a corner. Oh, when the roll is called up. Oh, when the roll is called up. 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 When the There's some who here know me and there's some who don't know me because I am my mother's only son. You know? And right now it's really hard for me to try to do that. You know, just me and my sister, you know, just two children. I just call her Ta from Dongle. I'm a Ta. And she never stopped me. I can remember not too long on my work, you know, I work as a security. Um, I work with some ladies, you know, on this. And I was telling them about my mother, you know, from, she was mother and father for us, you know, going to work, to see about us by herself. I remember, she will get up early in the morning. And prepare things for us to go to school and you know. Half past two, three o'clock, she's going to work. She's working in her bakery, that's see bakery. 
and she'll leave things for us. And when we get up, we'll organize yourself and take the breakfast and change our clothes. <laughs> And at the school, you know. And he said, Pass, she said, Look out for us. And at that time, when we reached, we ended up at the call. She was just there waiting for us. And, you know, she is the son at upstairs. And she'll sell on 25 cents, 50 cents for us. You know, them time is plenty money for us. 50 cents, 25 cents. You're going to school, you're happy. You have money to spend whole day. You might come home back with 15 cents in your pocket. Because thing was cheap. You know, this is something I, you know, I never had in my head what to expect, you know, because for she's 72nd birthday, she keep her tongues and I was working, but the sun there was off and she called she called my wife phone and she said, um, you know, I have something for them children and I'm all come out for it. And we say, um, all right, we'll come down in the evening. We went out the Sunday evening. So when I reach, I say, my just song, I go with my sister, yes, she. I know that I had to go over there. I say, I'm coming back. Wait, give my little time, I'm coming back. But I had to go by my sister too, you know. <laughs> and when I come back and I stand up to talk to her, you know, she cough. I say, my okay? Yes, she is a stupid color, but I say, my sure. Yes, she is. I say, I have. Some bush on fair, I was seven bush out to pick and bring face. She says, You see me and bush? Me and bush is on a friend. You see this bit of taste in my mouth? I don't want that. On Tuesday, my sister called me and said, The Kramer Hospital, you know. And I know that cough that I hear. It was no normal cold. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the last day I went to the hospital and see how it was this Saturday. And I went down in her ears and I called her. And she is up straight off this. I could never I'd always see that she is straight off the bed. And she opened she eye and what's wrong. And she went back down and she closed her eyes. She was breathing heavy. Heavy, you know. All the days I go and see man. And when I went there that Saturday and I saw how Ma was breathing, I know. Then Ma that how she was breathing, the bed was shaking. The bed was shaking when Ma was breathing, and I knew. <laughs> and I tell God, you have your way, that your will be done. <laughs> we cannot do nothing. Say so you know best everything in your hand, Father. <laughs> and I leave. I tell my brother, I know I say, I wouldn't be able to come Sunday and see her. Because I go in and work on a location where I work like half past seven in the morning till nine in the night. And I wouldn't be able to come. But I'd come Monday, I'd tell my sister that for me. I said, right, Joe, and I'll go to my hotel, go in that. What you say? And when I was about, when was 8.36 Sunday morning, my sister, when I, I didn't have my phone on my had my phone, I said, I didn't have my phone on a stand. And when my phone rang and I peep, I peep the phone. I just take up the phone and I peep. So I see my sister calling. All I say, oh God, <laughs> because I knew what I was to call. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I 
I want to give God thanks and praise, you know, for having a mother like that, you know. She was strong. My mother was a pillar in the family. My mother liked peace. She liked to set peace. Anybody have any problem, anything happen is by, they don't go by Rose, they don't go by Tante Rose. I know. She could tell you something to make you feel all right. Everything good. You know, and I know a lot of us will miss her for who she is, you know, for what she stands for, you know. I know I will miss my mother. There's only one mother, of Anna. you know, she's gone, but I'll miss her. I'll miss her each and every day. I see they go back. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thanks to everybody who support us in this time. I hope our family stay strong. You know, it's hard. It's, a, it's real hard. It's real hard. You know, to swallow tough, you know. But I know. There is nothing that God can do to help us. He'll give us the strength, you know, to go through, you know. In spite of how it looks, you know. I say this thing in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Put all your hands together, man. Good day, everyone. It would be remiss of me if I didn't say anything. To Auntie Rose will truly be missed. She was really a loving person. You know, sometime when I reach up on the hill, and I'm going across by my, from the time I reach by the gap, to Auntie Rose! And you just see the head and say, yes, I'm right here. What you bring for me? What you have for me? And I will go across and we will chat. Information I get on, on WhatsApp and thing about health and thing I always send for her. I remember the last thing I carried for her was some Himalaya pink soil when she told me she wasn't feeling so good. So I did carry the pink soil and thing. But she was always around. And I want to tell Gwenny and Joel, stand firm. Stand firm. She will be missed. She will be loved. And always remember that she will always be there for you. So always be there for one another. You know, I remember growing up. Well, we weren't living too far from Tanti in the yard and things, so walking across a particular day. And in those days, it was plastic pants and diaper. And like it didn't fix good. And Tanti decided to fix it for me. And I, I still remember it. Put my light on and thing, and she fixed it back. But when she was putting it back, she stick me with the big pin. It was a big blue pin. You know them long time pins that some fat head? Right. And when I get the chuck, so she hold me up and tell her love her because I ball out to her and she love me and she love me up and thing. And from that day to now, we all had a good relationship. I remember one time we went down she shares. Traffic. Traffic. So we decided to come back. On our way back, we could see how the Tanti Rose and Trubby selling honey. So I can't pass straight. I just stop and we'll block a little and thing. But she always had a love in her and a special way to, to greet. And that was within her. So I know you're feeling a little depressed, you go across by Tanti Rose, you get some little old joke and thing. When you, when you leave, you leave lighter, better than when you come. And that life you talk about? Yeah. But she was always love. And she was truly a rose in Rosalind. You know? I will miss her dearly. I won't say who was my favorite aunt, but... <laughs> Tanti Rose, will be Yes. This evening, well, we are the wrong down now. Now, when I hear the kind of person she was, we Rose was, some other take notes, eh? Who would able to fulfill her office? It had nobody to fulfill that office. 
they will try. And in order to fulfill that, you have to take God. God has to be the main substance to give you that strength to go onward. You understand? And the reason why you should stick here with the pin that tells you when you're ever you're pinning pin and people or sewing and people stick them with the needle, it just keep them back from getting dangerous surgeries, dangerous accident. So they stick here with the pin down with the needle. You understand? So let us all rise. Hear, O oh Lord. Hear, O oh Lord, hear, O oh Bye.
Yeah.